Today's video topic is on the Enritsu USB wideband peak power sensors, the MA244XXA model. What is unique about the Enritsu peak power sen sensor is its ability to display average and peak power simultaneously. Here we're looking at a pulse signal without modulation. And what I'll do here with the power measurement test source that I have, I'll be adding a high level of mod modulation. So we can look at various statistics from the pulse mode, including both average, as you see here, with a more solid yellow line, as well as the modulation values, which are the ripple effects on the, on the pulse. So we'll look at marker measurements. And we can move our markers here and look at various parameters, such as marker average, marker max, etc. We can also use CCDF, which is complementary cumulative distribution functions, as a way to display average power versus peak power. CCDF, we also gain some additional insights of special use for designers of systems such as power amplification. To do this, we'll click on our CCDF button here. This is the time and percentage versus our peak power in relationship to any given point in time. CCDF curves will have power and dB on the x-axis. Here we're reading dBr, which is dB relative to an average power, which will take a zero dB for reference. So power on the x-axis is relative to the signal power. So for example, measurement of 2 dB at 20% means that there is a 20% probability that the signal power will be 2 dB or more above the average power. So in summary, the CCDF object measures the probability of a signal's instantaneous power to be a specified level above its average power. Which measures, are, again, are of particular importance to power amplifier designers processing signals with a high peak to average ratio, such as CDMA or OFDM. So with this measurement, we can also display a split screen, uh, which we'll look at here. So we have trace view. We'll click on that. And we see the trace view here. And I'll right click. And we'll look at vertical tabs. So we see on the right hand side the actual pulse measurement. And simultaneously on the left hand side, we look at the CCDF measurement. So for looking at CCDF measurements, close our marker measurement here and click on the Start Measurement tab. And here we see various statistics. Here we'll remove this. And we'll see various statistical measurements for the CCDF function. Right now, I have a large amount of modulation on the signal. What I'll do with the power measurement test source is turn off the modulation to look at the difference. And we can see, we'll reset the capture here. And we can see with no modulation, the, the absolute peak to average is basically very, very close to zero, which is what we would expect. So turning back the modulation, we see again that here we have, there's approximately at 0.0001% probability there's a 4 dB peak to average. So again, this is very important for power amplifier designers. Uh, when an amplifier is designed, there's potential, even at, uh, at low levels of probability of a high peak to average, uh, there could be a substantial amount of bit error rate involved. So the power amplifier designer will need to uh, include room for quite a bit of margin in, in their design in order to account for uh, high crest factors or high peak to average uh, averages in the signal. So this is very important when you're working basically with communication signals in general.